Welcome on in everyone to our continued playthrough of Grounded. We're on day 20, I believe. We did a lot yesterday, actually. Um, we accomplished quite a bit. We got our tier 3 axe, our tier 3 hammer. Um, I mean, that was, that was basically the big... Uh, big gist of it. We didn't really do enough building that I wanted to, to do, but I mean, things just kind of got out of hand and we just kind of rolled with it. So today, now that we have our tier three equipment, the thing I want to account, I'm actually going to pause the game because I don't want to waste our daytime. It's only it's eight o'clock in the morning. We are immediately going to proceed to our next objective because I know there is something that is up there that I want desperately. And something that takes forever to respawn. So, we are going to go... The, mi the mission is to go after Wendell's scabby. Or trying to find his scabby at any rate. Which we know is not by his favorite chair. I actually already know where it is. Because I've played the game before. But, we're going to go do that. We're going to get uh, a new material. That is going to craft one of our end game weapons. And because it respawns in seven days, and we have to at least wait another seven days, we need to kind of do that quickly so we can at least start that timer. And then once we have that going, we will basically be switching gears to building, I think. So, uh, I, I think I'm going to stick with my lady, lady bu bug armor here. Um, I don't think we need... We're going to take some emergency food, just in case. That emergency food? Gr uh, grub jerk. No, that might be actually like food food. Nat jerky. Is this gnat or grub? Okay, never mind. That's our emergency food. Alright, we have more than enough potions, more than enough bandages. Let's get right on to it. Oh, we also got our um, salt gum mace salt thing. So. Yeah. I mean, we, we really need to get the mint mace made as well. Mint mace is going to help us fight those uh, ladybugs that seem to be weak to it. But, again, more, oh wait, hold up. We got to go back. Stop, go back. Go back, go back, go back. We need to bring some uh, materials with us. I don't know if we can build on the chair or the bat or like somewhere to put a zip line but we are going to take a um we're going to take enough of enough of what we need in order to accomplish that so we're going to we're going to take enough for at least a wall anchor i don't think we're going to be able to put an actual like anchor anchor because we need to we would need to get weed stem up there and that's not going to happen so we want uh mushrooms some clay and in enough materials for a wall anchor. It won't get us back in a pinch, but I mean, when we get back here, then we can link a zip line up to it. Naturally, we need to get a bee stinger. So what? You okay? You good? Okay. So we need silk rope, clay. A bee stinger. And we need mushroom brick. Now we need to go get a bee. Slight problem. Head on over to the picnic table. Best place for us to get it. And we will go from there. So we just need one bee stinger. 
I mean, in theory, technically, we could have went on there and, like, started to make our way and just, like, tried to snipe a bee, but it's just easier since we know there's a bunch congregating right here. Alright, there we go. Oh, I should have dropped there. Oh, well, I mean, we can use the zip line up here. Never mind. And fling off. There we go. All right, let's Feeling refreshed. go on and get up here. Hopefully not die. Dying would be horrible. We're actually playing as hoops again. Oh, they can't really decide where, where where she wants to lay down. Hi, Prod. How you doing? Hi, Tenchi. How are your guys' this Friday going? Good luck, Tenchi. Ducking terrible. Did you have, like, a encounter with a duck? Well, we know Tenchi's, Tenchi's night is, uh, is ho getting horrible. Tenchi's night's bad. Unfortunately. I don't even, like, I haven't even had to write anything down, really. You guys have just been, like, nat one, nat all three of them are nat ones. That's all it is. That's all it's been, is nat ones. Like I don't I don't know at this point I don't know what to say. You guys are just I missed. That was a pretty good uh candidate too. I don't wanna get this before I aggro anyone. Unsubbing and closing this. <laughs> Those are people unsubbing to the channel because they keep rolling that ones. I it's random. I promise it's random. I actually don't even know if bees are weak to this maze. Oh, jeez. Well, they're not weak to that. Hey, look, our bee stinger. All right, awesome. All right. Got what we came for. And we should have everything else. Like, we're ready to just go straight there, pretty much. Or we should be. Don't worry. I'm sure Intent will stop by, and she'll roll the final nat one. Or maybe Mont... Maybe Monty will stop by tonight and give us a natural 20. You guys haven't even, you haven't even made it past the first, you haven't even made it past Shap 2. We're still on Shap 2. Maybe you guys just like dad jokes. I mean... Could be that, too. You just want to hear them dad jokes. Dad jokes from... Dad jokes. The good, the bad, the terrible. I don't know how, how else to explain it. Oh, Prod! Uh, have you given some thought to if, if and when we're going to play Lethal Company this weekend? Keeping in mind I can only really play, like, in the evenings. Tomorrow I'm going to be streaming, or uh, the plan is that I'm going to be streaming our usual afternoon stream tomorrow. Uh, but then Sunday there will not be a stream. And I think... Playing a sec on the phone. Okay. I think... So next... This coming Sunday, we're not going to have a stream on Sunday. 
uh, next, like the week after. The week after, we might not be having a stream on the weekends either. I'm not entirely... We have a bowling... We have our city bowling tournament that is going on this month. And I believe the times that we've picked are... Uh, it's either we start next week or we start the week after. We're like, we... It's technically two weeks apart. It's like we either... I think we bowl on the 19th and we bowl on the 27th. So that would not be next week. Next, that would mean next week we would have two streams on the weekends, pending any football. Football should be done. We get like a couple weeks off before the playoffs, don't we? Um, but then that following week, I have to I have to bowl like two weeks apart. So like the nineteenth, we won't have a stream, which is a Friday. We'll have a stream that weekend though. So I mean, I guess that's good. But then the following week, we'll we won't have a stream on uh, on Saturday. Is essentially what's what's gonna happen. All right, so our mission is, I mean, we're, we're doing the find Wendell Scabby mission, but uh, at the same time, our mission is actually to get um, some toenails. And depending on how many there are up here, we may have to, like, put them in a scanner. I know there's a couple in the yard up here, so we may have to kind of hunt for them, but I know we need a, we need 10 in total. So we need at least five. We need at least five. So I don't know if that there's five in here, but I do know that they t that if I recall correctly, they take like five to seven days or something to respawn. I think it's seven days. So the sooner the sooner we collect them, uh, the better. Hydration is the key to performance. Apparently they don't uh, care for that. Hey, we finally got a fire ant head. What the? I'm, re I'm really not good at like judging the ants wind up. Cause it's like either really fast like that or it's really slow. I do also hate how they run away like that. Because they're always, like, in this, with these mutations that I have on, they're always faster than me. Actually, we're going to keep our fighting mutations on. So this is a pretty hostile area. Yeah, once we get this piece done, I mean, we gotta we gotta spend time building. Where'd you come from, Roly Poly? Busting fresh, salty. I mean, we actually could actually we could probably go after him. Though getting the mint mace would also help. Really, oh, that has a. We have to get a bomb for there. Whoop. You weren't supposed to see me. Uh oh. I mean, I really don't feel like fighting because I don't want to. I want to get up there as quick as possible. So we're just gonna try to run instead of fight. Which means I should have my other mutations on, but. Whoop! Wrong way. Karen! Gotta get them all. He's gonna be a pain in the butt to get. I mean, I secretly know where we can go to get a bunch of them, but 
I, we're not going to be getting there anytime soon. Did he wake up? Did I wake him up? I'm sorry, guy. I didn't mean it. Okay, now we can switch. Good thing we brought some uh, regular food. Sam Squatch Dirt Bike. Ah, uh, yes. The shed. Home to a billion ants. Ow. No rust on those nails? We might actually get a little bit of rust when we get on that chair. Oh, there's also uh, splinters we can farm now. Uh, the tier three, uh, like the burrs, we can get those. We'll, we'll do exploring later. I want to make sure we get what we need to get to. Yep. The bomber baseball bat. Spicy thing there. Me and my head, like, have we fought a uh, black soldier ant? How are you threat detected? What are you gonna do? Jump up here? Ooh, dust point. What do you do? Jump up here? Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, you don't know how to get me. I really don't want to fight him. Here, let's kind of hide us. Tenchi, you want... Let's just get this over with. Alright, Tenchi. You saw how the dice was really, really, really wanting to get to that one. You guys saw it, right? You guys saw it really it desperately trying to get to that one. It was trying. Black ant soldier, I told ya. It wavered, right? Yep. Alright. Full-sized scabby. Install the fuse. Oh, we didn't even bring the fuse. We're a, hor we're a horrible, uh... Oh, you needed a tier 3 hammer anyway to get into this? Oh, I can put it in. I, I didn't realize I had it. Okay, cool. We needed a tier three hammer anyway. Um, how do I activate it? Activate the scabby. Um. Initiate. Oh. Scabby online. That works. Transferring biometric data, Wendell Tully. Biometric data transfer complete. Audio file downloaded, Dr. Wendell Tully. Title, goodbye. <clears throat> Hello, my scabby wearing friend. I do not know who you are or how you came by this message, but please tell them I tried. Tell Trudy, Thor, my little Sarah, tell the world. The sun is setting on our yard and it 
brings back so many memories. Sitting in this chair, my favorite chair, my thinking chair. I fear this may be the last time I lay eyes on such a beautiful sight. I'm nearly out of time. My body shrivels more with each passing day. Even my scabby can barely fit on my bony wrist. The spacer, my greatest achievement. A disaster. The final chapter in the book of my many failures. Perhaps in solitude, free from my family, from Burgle, from Ominent, perhaps I can finally find a cure to this damnable reasoning. So, this will be my last adventure into the miniature world. I leave the warmth of the sun and embrace the unknown. I'll either find the answer or shrivel in the darkness below. To my lab underneath the shed. This is Dr. Wendell Tully signing off. Goodbye. That tastes really good. I mean, if that was his thinking chair, I mean, that chair has seen better days. Also, I feel like that chair would be very uncomfortable. I mean, that that's just me. All right, let's uh let's get our charge. Yep. There is only four in here. That means we gotta find at least one more. Well, well, really, I guess two more, but. Oh no, we need to find one more, like, in the yard. Okay. Let's go ahead and grab this. Okay. Alright, let's see if we can do this. I don't know if we're going to be able to build here. It would be really cool if we could. But I'm not holding my breath. Invalid surface. Oh, I was afraid. Ooh! <gasps> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute! Yeah. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna move it because I wanna see if I can move this a little bit closer. So we, we have to go back down to our base in order to connect this, but now we have a route back up here to get more, uh, A, get more toenails, but we also, like, we can use this as a way to get up here without having to run around there and we just jump down. Providing, of course, I have my, uh, my dandelion tuft, but yeah. Alright, so the next thing that I want to do, um, before we head back is I actually kind of want to get some lint, so we're going to go, we're going to jump down over this way. I'm going to go after someone really quick. Ooh, we got some gum up there. Tabby Col- Jabby Cola, not Tabby. Jabby Cola. All right, operation, uh, avoid all the bugs and just gather wind. Ow. I mean, 
thankfully they don't do too much damage. Would, this would be a lot easier if I didn't have that black ant on me. Uh, is one more? Oh good, he, he stopped, okay. See if we can take one of them out. Oh, geez, he hurts. I want to just be able to research it. Okay, let's try to get out of here. We're gonna head over to the research station that's kind of on the other side here. Once I have my ability to run fast, I guess. Because then we're gonna immediately research and try to locate. We can get one more toenail. Then we can basically spend the next seven days building. That'll be enough to get me back. Hopefully there's a toenail nearby here. That'd be really helpful. I'm also a little worried because this is kind of like deeper into the yard. I'm, like, worried we're gonna see wasps. Fire Ant Shield. We only have one other one on the radar. It's right here. I put a... There's Monty. Told you guys Monty would, would come here and try to save all of you. And remind you to stay hydrated. Speaking of which, I need to find some water here if we're gonna try to get this other toenail, probably. Oh. Monty, roll the dice. You're our only hope. You're the only hope, Monty. Everybody else, just so you can see this before I roll this. Everybody else, all nat ones. Every single one of them. I mean, not like in a row, but I mean, we haven't even we haven't even gotten uh, through to a shaft. Hasn't even happened yet. Haven't gotten through one. Okay. All right. I mean, it's not a not a um, not a big number, but you know, three, uh, three, uh, three is good. Still not still not good enough to get through a shaft, but we're close. I guess Monty just has to stay here 
he can't leave. He has to watch the stream now forever and just keep rolling on cooldown. No, oh, you were the chosen one. I think this roly poly might be into me. I don't think it is. You need to stop making it awkward there, hoops. I didn't mean to do that. I forgot my timer set. Why? I mean, I have to hit the... Tenshi or I have to, like, say that the redemption happened. Otherwise, the timer doesn't start, I don't think. Oh! Ambush! You all saw it. She was hiding. She was hiding in the rock. You all saw that, right? Game tried. Yeah, it was a stealth bug. She was in inside of the rock. Okay, hopefully there is a toenail inside of that pipe. Otherwise, this is gonna be horrible. Oh, I hear a. Oh, she's right. No, oh, there's a couple of them. Ow we All right, good. Okay. Now we need to wait ten or yeah, ten seven, sorry, seven in game days without aggroing that ladybug. Thank you. But now we can spend the next seven in game days building. Although technically there is one more thing I need to try I need to get. So there's one other piece to this puzzle for research purposes that we need to go after. We'll do it in the next in-game day though. For the next seven days I'm gonna definitely want to be uh sleeping if we can. Monty, have you played Lethal Company? Have you heard of that? Have you played it? Tenchi has apparently played it, and Prod, uh, Prod and Dame want to actually play it, so... You have heard of it, but no, you have not. Did I, ar and did I already ask you whether or not you've played Project Zomboid? Yeah! Playing with my kids, it's a blast. I mean... I still have to reserve judgment for it, but I'll take your word for it for now until we play. I don't know why, but at night I like keep my nose is just getting itchy. Zomboy looks Project Zomboy looks so much better than we for Oh yeah, oh totally. They, um, when we played it, or when we, when we tried to play it, I should say, uh, there was a beta out that you could download with the updated system, but it was, like, bare-bones beta. Like, it was actually, like, it was worse than, uh, well, we might as well get our food going then, since I'm gonna have to, I can't sleep now. Oh, I don't have any! Oh, no! On, game really ah
looked interesting, but not your style. I mean that. I mean, to be honest, Monty, I had the same kind of feeling. Although I'm, I am willing to, I am willing to give it a try. Why am I? Oh, that's because that was already damaged. All right, good job, everyone. All right, I need one acorn bit. And I don't want to run into a wolf spider because I really don't want to fight one right now. Oh, that was from the base defense. Finally, jeez. Yeah, I know. Whoops. Okay, so anyway, as I was saying, um, when we played Project Zomboy, Zomboid, uh, there was this beta, and it was just, it was really glitchy, but you could download it and play it, and so now it's been, I mean, it's been released for a little bit now, but I've been playing it off and on, just here and there, it is so much it's so much smoother and so much easier to control. If the company is scary, you really need four people for it. I'll believe it. But also Project Zomboid works very, very well on the Steam Deck. It, it, it plays beautifully. Feeling refreshed. As, as I believe I said on Wednesday, the only downside of it that I've found so far is A, it takes a little bit to get used to the controls and you know, I feel like you don't have so much, like doing inventory takes so much longer. And if you have like life or death situation that you need to act immediately, you're probably gonna die. But, the other thing is, when you're playing Project Zomboid, and you hold right click down, which puts you into your like, ready weapon stance, if you move the mouse, like, all the way, uh, to one way or the other, you'll be able to kind of like, see further distances, and I don't know how to replicate that on the Steam Deck. So, like, I'm not entirely sure how that... What do you mean, connection blocked? The connection's not blocked. It's perfect. Connection's not blocked. Game, you crazy? Dude, that connection is solid. It's right, literally right next to that pipe. Oh no, it's not, no, I, it can't be the arm of the chair. It's literally, it's to the left. It's right in between the clippers and the pipe. Like, it, there's a clear line of sight there. Maybe it's the, it, it could be the table itself. We may have to build up a little bit on this side. Like, right over here, I may have to build some stairs that go up a little bit. Like, I may have to put, like, one or two uh, stairs up in order to line that up. We'll worry about that later, though, because that's not the mission at the moment. I don't know where else to find the burrweed stuff, so... Um, actually, you know what? We probably should go this way. Might be a little bit quicker. We're gonna go get the bird weed stuff next. Dude, you guys are like on it tonight. Is 
Very close, Tenchi. Very close. Oh, crow. Whoops. Very close, and that is... Now at least you guys got through a shaft. Moving on, moving along home to Shap 3. There is hope. There is hope. Moving on to Shap 3. Win or lose, we're in this together! Yeah, my current playthrough of Project Zomboid that I'm just kind of like playing on the weekends in the morning as I like have a cup of coffee, basically. Uh, I started in the game and I I found, I spawned pretty close to a two-story building. So, uh, it's like a, it, like the first floor is a medical complex and the second floor is an actual like house. So I'm gonna use that as my base for a little bit. The only, whoop. The only actual downside is I don't have access to uh, sheets. I was gonna say I took a kind of a chance there, but I'm gonna run out of stamina. Okay, she turned around. The updates from earlier today. Uh, let's see. Uh, what does what does Niji mean? What what is uh what is what is Niji if I'm even saying that correctly? Oh, it's a company. Okay. Why 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 would that why would that stop you from streaming though? Like, does she have, like, some sort of legal agreement that she can't stream anymore if she leaves that company, or...? Watch it! Speedy coming through! As far as D&D &D goes, though, like, as I've said, I don't know. During bowling season here, I really do Oh, we should have brought a gas mask. Son of a biscuit. I don't really know if I'm gonna be able to do D&D &D until at least the end of bowling. Corpo VTubers don't... Oh, oh, so like she could still stream, but she would have to like rebrand basically, is what you're saying. That makes sense. And I'm, assu I'm assuming she's not exactly... Like I'm not a VTuber. So, funny, so funnily enough, I, I'm... Wolflow is going to help me get like a... Like a VTuber thing very cheaply like set up until so we could use it as a channel redemption or put it as part as like the dice type of thing but that's long that's a long way from now but we are kind of looking into it as like a fun thing i wouldn't i don't think i would ever become like a full-fledged vtuber isn't there a uh a burr hydration like, right is here? the key to performance like not by the stink bugs or Maybe past the stink bugs. That's how it all starts. No, no, no. We're just. I'm. I just want. I've always kind of wanted to get one for like a fun funsies kind of a thing. Tenchi, wasn't there a a burr plant over here? Why am I not seeing it? There was one here. You don't think I, I I I seem to remember one being here. Been drinking them burrs? No, no. The burr is a tier three weed. Uh, well, not weed, but it's a tier three um, 
thing. I could have swore there was like at least like there was just like one here. By the shed deck? I mean that's gonna be kind of a walk. There's none there's none down here. I thought there was some down here. Why wouldn't there be some down here? I could have swore there was a couple right over here right over there, like right on this thing here. I swear there used to be some. You plugged No, I did not plug the haze. Do I have to plug the haze for those to spawn? That doesn't make sense. Or unless you're saying there are some in the haze. So, but is it a weed that only spawns when you plug the haze? I don't remember that being a thing. I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm just like, I don't, I don't remember it being a thing. Z will only go Riley after the weed killer. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I mean, we can shift gears. I don't really necessarily need that. We can, we can build without them uh, to whoop, to start. I was just gonna be like, since I have the axe, I would go unlock it. Not necessarily build with it. So we're gonna get back to building now. Because before before I plug the haze, I want to... At the very least, I want to uh, get, out, get the house stable enough that I can actually quote-unquote move in. Um, since I know I won't need any of that stuff for the making of the Burgle Fort, I would still probably love to get the fort piece actually, at least the shell of it built. Like, the inside maybe we don't need to do, but, like, we it would be nice to get the shell done. So. We're gonna probably... Uh, work to that. Tastes really good. All right, let's get our ant armor on. We get our aphid slippers, and we need to get some weed stems. I probably should uh, start making those too. more grass planks as well. Alright. Oh, whoop, hold on. Still gonna need a lot of those. I didn't bring that. Okay, B. All right. Never mind. I need to get the red ant armor. Armor protection engage. And we need our aphid slippers because armor, the two armor pieces plus the slippers will give us 21 capacity, and that is actually good enough. Once we get hauling hero level three, I think we can probably um, we could probably get the uh, firefly helmet and still be able to carry 20, 21. That would be that would be kind of the goal. All right.
right, let's get to building our uh, new house. And I gave it some thought. I have a I have a kind of rough idea of how I want to build this house in my head. So we'll see kind of, you know, from here to actually implementation, whether or not that's good. Yeah, the uh, order of operations is building our house, getting the Burgle Fort, uh, at least the shell of it done. And then when we're all finished with that, that's when we plug the haze. So for the next seven in-game days, I am devoting completely to building, so... Those of you watching this, uh, watching this live, all we're doing is building. And for those of you watching on YouTube, you can probably just skip ahead through all this if you, you know, if you want. Unless we start talking about something interesting, I guess. I started watching, um, I watched Star Trek Lower Decks. Got that out of the way. Whoops. So now I'm actually watching Progeny. And then when I'm done with that, I plan on... I don't know whether I'm going to do Strange New Worlds or Discovery next. I think Discovery is probably the next uh, logical choice. I think that came out first. But I am trying to watch all the Star Trek series that I haven't since uh, I believe it was Jumanji and I were talking about it several streams ago. I think we used up all of our planks so we can send a full eight full stack of eight here. And also back to the D&D talk, that being said of like me not necessarily being ready to start going, getting back into D&D &D until after bowling, I am still on board with us doing D&D &D, and I also still on board with like once the uh Cosmere stuff comes out I would totally want to like DM a campaign uh doing that under that system once we like learn it and stuff I just finished part one of Oathbringer so Things are things are getting interesting in that book. But then book five is not going to be out until December. Even though Brandon Sanderson said it's a hundred percent done, uh, we're not going to see it released until December. The what stuff? Um, if you recall, I had mentioned that uh, Brandon Sanderson, who writes the uh, Cosmere stuff. They're actually making a tabletop uh, based off of the world that uh, is the book that I'm reading. It's based off the um, what he what he calls the Cosmere, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. And it uh, has the like Way of Kings. It's all it's like the the world of like the Way of Kings, Mistborn. Those are all like all in the, all those books are technically in the same universe. I think the tabletop is based off of the Stormlight Archives, though, which is the book that book series that Wolf and I are reading. When's bowling done? Bowling will be done in. I would say the first week in May might be our bowling banquet, but I mean, the, as soon as May hits, we're done bowling. So, I mean, 
it's gonna be it's gonna be a couple of months. I mean, I guess we, we should probably wait to see uh, if we hear back from um, from Zaffa or anything. I just I I really 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 enjoy having weekend nights to just not do anything especially Sundays when bowling I mean once bowling is done we could also do our D&D &D thing on a Tuesday or Thursday but with that stipulation in mind I could only I myself could only do D&D &D, uh, for like 19 weeks out of a year Because obviously then once bowling starts back up, I'm not going to want to, I'm going to be too busy. Feeling refreshed. I don't know, I mean like in my mind, like having a campaign that lasts 19 weeks, hopefully. We could probably do it if we were better at D&D, &D, if we were more like role play -y. We're still like scrubs when it comes to D&D. &D. If we were better at it, we probably could, uh, like, plan out a whole, just like a 19-week, uh, thing out of the year. Also, we need to be small-scale. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm fine with continuing the current campaign we're at. We just have to have a story recap. Since it's been, since it's been a while. Did I set a max? I set a maximum amount of amount of using it. Oh my god. When was the last time we played summer? Yeah, pretty much. I mean it was um Uh it was it was basically summer. How many how many uh what's the limit, Tenchi? Do you recall? It makes sense that I put a limit on it. Cause if I ever get popular as a streamer, then like everybody one, everybody would spam it, and two, people that would want to roll wouldn't really get the chance if, like, three people keep spamming it. There's no, there's no, there's no limit to, like, how many times we summon Paula. I think it's just based on user. So you can all, like, maybe it might be three. It might actually be three. I feel like it's three. Eleven is a good, uh, eleven is a good hit. I'm gonna hold up. Give me one second. Oh, yeah, wait, we have a... Hold on. I'm going to roll the other dice once while we're heading back. Okay. Uh, 11. That's a good one. Oh, you know what? We never even did the... The thing. Tenchi, do you remember what you... Or what Monty rolled? Was it a was that a five or a three? I mean, this is a three, but which is you know dehydration. Well, stay hydrated, everybody. That would have been my fault. I'm just so excited that somebody actually made a hit. I forgot to do the actual redemption on it. Yeah, we'll see what uh, Wolfo comes up with as far as um, our other player goes. Makes me nervous that I can't see them right now. I mean, I know they're fine, but still. That tastes really good. So 
Holy puppy. I do not like the winter. I do not like cold. I feel so bad because we don't like get we don't get to like walk that much because it's cold and I don't like cold. We, we we definitely don't walk as much as we you know would in the summer. Uh, where am I going? Take the Tenchi way. Oh wait, I would I needed to be up anyway because we're, we're gonna send these to the, the other place. But should have a proper landing now, or well, at least a more protected one. I think. Otherwise, we've just wasted all this. I feel like I remember we fixed it. comfortable. Might try to build that thing up really quick. We're going to have some weed stems that are going to be still back here. Because I only have four pallets over by the house. can go on the pallets. In the dangerous time of like trying to pick them up without triggering the zip line. Go ahead and just take one with us. I like how this side of the zip line network turned out. like start harvesting the like normal food. Mm, can't waste food. Can't waste food. Need to go to the sandbox and can't waste food. harvest that stuff. I mean eventually we're gonna I mean we, once we start going after more milk molars, which speaking of which do we oh we got six we even need to spend. We should probably put some on the hunger thirst drain thing. I love this! The less I have to worry about that, the better. I mean, eventually, well, I think we can max out them all, but... It's not terribly hard to... manage hunger and thirst. It's just a minor annoyance. But I think our next trip, because we're going to definitely use up all these weed stems. I think our next trip, we're going to try to get weed stems and a full thing of grass planks. We, I forgot we did need to start collecting them as well. A 
Look, we got all of them. All of them that time. Is the key to performance. Go us. My nose, not not doing too well right now. All right, so for here, oops. Well, yeah. I mean, it's actually pretty far back. I don't think I need to worry about that as much. I mean, it would be really nice if we could use a wall anchor here, but that's not possible because I have the wall anchor over there. We might be able to move this now and like put it right here again. Because once the weed stems get over to here, they will, they shouldn't fall off because of the you know guardrails that we just put up. We already used up nearly all of our weed stems. Oh, I thought I kept my acorn tops on us. I guess not. All right. So as for this, however. for our actual house. I mean, I, I did have this worked out my, in my head, but I think I need to move this stuff out of the way because it's kind of like messing up with my perception. So I mean, we still want to have like a little patio area over here so I can put some like garden. Well, we got to be have a spot to store this stuff, but I do kind of want the house to be like the door should be over here, like facing this way. I want the door to face here. I want it to have like a, li a lower level. Excuse me. And then, a, and then an upper level over here. Alright, Monty. I'm like just keeping the summon Paula thing up right now so you can all burn your burn your Paula summons. Dude, Monty, another 19. Nice. I'm gonna save the day for a two. about this look at that puppy i don't think we're gonna get a good uh i don't think we're gonna get a v good view of it but there she is okay so i want this i mean want it to be here i'm gonna see what it looks like going from here I don't want it to, I don't really feel like I want the house to be linked up to the wall in any way, so, I mean, if anything, I'd want to have it, like, right here, be, like, halfway out, but then, of course, I'm not sure if I should put a half wall there instead. Let's start this way, and we'll just kind of roll with it for a minute. Can I not, oh, I was about to say, can I not link up this way? If I wanted to do that.
We're gonna just put this perimeter down and then we'll see how, how that looks. Once I get once I get it down. So that's what it would look like. And we do have to kind of extend the wall out this way a little bit. But I'm not sure we need to do anything. I'm not sure what we're going to do about this half wall here. But we do need to get like the primary wall moved. Or not moved, but we got to build it from there to kind of like block that off. Until it at least gets kind of over, over to here. So, gotta kind of keep that in mind. It's like that would be the foundation here. Does this too much space? Can I make this smaller? Still get, I could probably make this slightly smaller. If I bring everything in one. Yeah, a little less room, but it would give me a little bit more space out in the front here. And bring this wall back one. Feeling refreshed. Keep forgetting we can just do this. Oh, whoops. I meant to bring this one in as well. to give us a little bit of a uh, room to play here in case we need it. Also gives us a good decent like front frontal area. Isn't too isn't too big. I mean, we're not going to have uh like my thought process is we'll have like our food and cooking area down here like just our general like walking in area and then up here we're gonna have our crafting but then like this this is kind of like already like two story tall this is gonna be one story like we're gonna, by one story i mean like we're gonna go two two tall and that's it for the like, this is going to be considered one story for me. I just like building too high. And then this one will actually have two stories. Where the upper one will have our cozy bed area. And we'll have a little, like, lookout balcony that we can see the yard and stuff. That's what I'm kind of thinking about going for. But then the other question that I have for myself is whether or not... I could put, a, I could put the door here. Or I could put the door here. I could even put the door here. I feel like naturally the door almost looks like it should go here. We can always move it, but for the purposes of like us getting started, I'm gonna... Oh, you can't... There's no... Um can't do that. Okay, never mind then.
I mean, we can see how that looks, but I don't, I don't think I'm gonna like that. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't really think I'm gonna like that, but. We're also gonna be like demand dismantling some of these for windows, but we're gonna just start laying foundations here. All right, let's head back. Make sure I don't not get knocked off there. Okay, good. Let's see what time we're at? Nine nine o'clock. So this is one game day. I mean, we'll know when they respawn because we'll just use the scanner. But trying to keep keep track of uh, what day we're on is also helpful. You know, before we plug the haze, I also want to get this thing straightened out too so it's not you know so it looks looks better that tastes really good I think we have enough food for one more day and we're also gonna have to go hunting yeah pretty much I guess since the dog isn't uh, necessarily moving around, I should probably put the camera back on me. Oh, now she's gonna move, naturally. Do need well we're gonna need some sprigs. Uh we need, we need actually acorns. Let's take a whole stack of springs actually. Uh we also need our crude rope. Grab some mushrooms as well. See if we can work on that wall. All right, let's go uh, research the lint rope. <laughs> Nothing. But brain power level up. Rusty spear and a tick, whatever that word is. I almost forgot we're gonna have to go hunting ticks here pretty soon too. to make sure all these get over there safe now. I mean, they should. Since we clearly, we clearly cle cleared the railing.
So we'll use all this stuff up and we'll go get our next, uh, our next stack of weed stems. We're also going to get a, you know, eight stacks of weed, st weed stems, eight stacks of grass planks. We're going to go though. We're going to go for the big play. We're going to see if we can break my game. That's what we're going to do. Can we break the game? We're going to find out. Looks like all the uh, weed stems that dropped into the, into the river be all despawned. So that's good. Game's pretty good about that. It's a nice little like double door thing. I, mean, I, I I suppose we can leave it for now, but I might change it. You know the other uh, the other thing that I was kind of worried about. I almost feel like we need to raise this up one, or may or not like up one, but because of like wanting to have I. I'm trying to remember. I mean, stem floor can't go on there. I don't know if the burr floor could. Or if we need to raise this up on scaffolding, but like do it in this way. You know? Like raise it up by a half. Or we could use... Could use half walls. Maybe use mushroom to start as like a foundation piece and then once we get ash we can maybe upgrade that to like an ash piece so it looks like an actual foundation to the house Now, is there a curved? Staircase slash ramp. That we could work with. I mean, we got corner stairs. There's no like half. There's no like half stairs. I'm like trying to fathom how this even would work.
mean, I can't really get that. To fit there. What the? Uh... Where did it go? Oh, there it is. Like, yeah, that works. But there's this... Oh, no, I mean, yeah, it kind of doesn't work because there's that hole there. It almost works. Can't, like, snap it at an angle at that point, hey? No. I mean, the one, I mean, you could move, you could remove that. And you could do, uh... Stop doing that. Stop it. Obey me. Oh my god. Now where'd it go? Where'd it go? Oh, it went inside of the... Can't put them together like that. Gosh darn it. It's like it almost wants to do it, but... There we go. It looks like it snaps, but then the game is just like, no, that's not how it works. Hydration is the key to performance. Sorry, you can't do that. Right next thing you know, I'm looking for a new desk. I mean, again, we're kind of left with that same problem of like, there's a gap there. Because I'm pretty sure we can't put... Yeah, we can't do that. I mean, that would solve all our problems right there if we could just slap that there anyway. I mean, this doesn't look too bad. Like, this looks fine. I 
I got an idea. Some something that might solve our problem. Let's see what trying to place a floor down does. I should just have grass floor and stem floor, right? Yeah. If we could have like a half curved wall there or half curved floor there, that would be beautiful. That's not going to do it. Now, there's no like quarter curved floor. <laughs> A flat roof, a feather flat roof. I mean, a tri triangle doesn't work because of the whole. You put two triangles next to each other; they're not. They're they're gonna basically cancel each other out. Unfortunately, that's not. I was thinking maybe if we put the floor in, we'd see our solution to our problem. That tastes really good. So I, have, like, can't, I have to get like something in between there. If only I get like two of these like right next to each other. Kinda. I mean, we would still have... Still have that. If 
if we could only get a piece like in the middle here I'm gonna try I'm gonna try to play with this but this, I mean this could work I mean that's not terrible but let's move these out of the way for now Is there not? Wait a minute. Isn't there? There's a quarter clay foundation. There's no quarter like mushroom foundation. That's a bummer. I mean, although it's it's not going to line up properly, but I mean, we could fit a square here. I mean, that's all. That's really all we need is a square at an angle like that. But just a little higher it might have actually solved our problem. Okay, just gotta move, just gotta turn it slightly. Same height. Gotta turn it once, and then we just gotta guide it into place. closer I feel like that works once then once we put the once we put the floor in I don't think we'll see the fact that it's a pillar You can kind of sort of see it, but I think that works. We're going to have a hard time when we try to switch this to ash, but I mean, I think that works for now. In the end, if like this all goes south, we just dismantle this and we build the door over here. <laughs> but for now, I think... Uh... I think that's fine. Hydration is the key to performance. Raw science. You know, if only if only Wendell programmed like a built-in radio to these scabbies, that would be great. Some of these building streams. Of course, I could put on lo-fi, but unfortunately, I'm not actually geared for that. I haven't really configured that to be able to control the volume yet. I'd have to like load it on my my gaming computer here right for the first time because I can't really fortunately can't really manipulate that. Oh, it's already supporting something. Um, wait, supporting what? Oh, it's supporting. That's right because we have to finish building this now. Or well, no, we can just do that. There we go.
Whoops. We are kind of building this house a little bit out of alignment. So I'm not sure how much that's going to come back to bite us in the butt. Hunt. I mean, we can actually probably do some hunting while we gather weed stems and grass planks because we should be able to find some aphids. And they won't run from us anymore, so. No, there's that. Aphids would probably be our best bet right now for food. Probably need to wait another in game day or two in game days for the acorns to respawn. Okay, so there we go. Oop. So we'll keep working on this. Oh, we do we still have more weed stems. Oh I get I get too far away, that's why. Yeah. Uh can I build the I don't know if I can get up the ah, we'll do it later. I don't know if I, I, I think I have the tools to build that railing, but we gotta figure out a way to build me a small ramp to get up onto the wall. Obviously, one, one more full stack of weed stems. We'll obviously finish that a little bit, and then we'll work on the floor, which we're gonna use. We're gonna use grass planks to start. I don't know if we'll upgrade the floor to something like the burr things later, but I think grass plank is a good. Uh, should be a good little starting point for that. Almost sleeping time, so let's go get our food ready, get some water. We might actually, we're gonna, I'm gonna drop down here, see if we can get a couple of aphids. Because to be honest, we do have a little bit more time. We could probably do a little bit of hunting. How many aphids is that? Especially since they won't run from us. We can get nine of them. Already got three. Them not running away is like overpowered. Oh, the acorns are back. I love how we have nearly all the tier 3 tools. The final tier 3 tool is going to be a long time before we get it. I'm not in a terrible hurry to get it. We probably won't even get it until we're ready to tackle the undershed. Which, I mean, gear-wise, we will be ready fairly soon. Now, once we get done with all this building stuff, it's not going to take us too long to get ready to go to the undershed. 
Especially once we uh, explore the haze area. Oh, I was, I was going for the double kill. Inventory full. One, two, three, four. Rats. I was hoping for more. That's okay, we can get the others tomorrow. But it is really easy, apparently, to do that. Is that... I just... I wanna... There we go. Just get rid of that for now, because we don't need to be looking at that every time we're moving around the map. I don't really know if I need a lot of crude, uh, crude rope right now. I mean, we'll make them anyway, but still. For nearly two hours now. I am gonna miss uh, being able to just buzz down here right away and getting my four things of water. So we are gonna have to build some dew collectors. and a water storage system. Alright, we're off to our next uh, set of material collections. wanted to try to build that thing. We're going to have to try to remember that the next time I come back. Build a quick staircase. Uh, actually, wait a minute. Let's change of plan. take these with us, because I know there's a pallet over here. Whoops. It'd be really nice if you could open doors while trying to relocate objects.
be super helpful. So we gotta finish the zip line network. We gotta finish, uh, or we gotta build our little riverside place too. I think we'll be probably done with actual like building building goes can't really think of any other structures that I'd want to build and where I want to build them I mean rebuilding the lumber yard yes but not a new structure so I don't really feel like I have anywhere else outside of those locations that I actually want to build a base or build some form of a base, anyway. Especially if we get the zip line that goes right up to there. I mean, that's gonna be... That's gonna be big. That's gonna be huge. We build a small base, maybe. Or like, just a small receiving area down over here. Or at least, like, over there. That would be probably useful. I don't know if we want any kind of zip line to anything over there. <laughs> That's like danger zone, but I love this. Yeah! I don't feel I don't feel like we need a base anywhere else in the game. I mean, I feel I feel like I kind of want to build a area by the haze to like the haze lab just to say like, yeah, we did it. But I almost feel like once we plug the haze, it'd be more, it would make more sense to build that location either on the stairs or on one of these rocks. Or I should do something similar to, her, to what we did on the table over there to do like the top of the garbage pile to again just say we did it. Oh boy. Just, I love three swings and you're done. That's just beautiful. Eight weed planks, eight grass planks, or uh, pallets. Sorry, I keep I keep using the wrong words. We're gonna go for the big play this time. See if we can break my game. By sending all of them over together. Oh, to be honest, I probably should have uh, tried to fill all the pallets up and sent them all together because we're going to be at this for a few minutes. Sounds like it's all clogged up. Don't 
doesn't it? if we used a workman's cop thing when we did this we almost could probably carry almost two stacks at once maybe we should see how many of those we can make Weeds are already respawning. Or, well, weeds are respawning. trip for these guys and we'll be on the grass planks. And then maybe we'll just say rip to my F FPS once we head home. Or half of them will be gone. This is an experiment. We're trying to push the limits to see how much how much building material I can send in one trip. I probably should have sent the grass planks over first. We know we can send because we've done that before, but now we're going to see if we can send uh, eight full pallets of grass. That sounded uh, not as I wanted it to sound. Then we'll get back to where we build and we'll just blow through all the pallets in like less than five minutes. I don't want to destroy it. Even though it's not like we would run out of uh, anything if I did accidentally destroyed a couple of the roots. Now like we'd run out. It's 
Seems like everybody ran out of uh, Paula summons. Uh, where did I put the pallet? Where'd the pallet? Oh, there it is. Hey, where'd the pallet go? Actually, I can fit uh, more on there. I think that fits. I actually might fit 24. Armoring up. Yeah, so 24 is the full. So that's where I have to give up our aphid slippers for now. A little slower. Probably another reason we should have did, did the uh, grass first. It's gonna be like going along and they're all like going that way the game's just gonna crash on me it's gonna crash as soon as we get over there hydration is the key to performance More trips. And the next time we do this, like when we go for all of them, we have to like start a timer. Curious to, I'm curious to know how much time we're spending on this. I mean, but when we got over here, I think I said we would just hit, it was like about an hour 50 on the, like for how long I've been streaming. So we're looking at almost 20 minutes so far. could do the like we could gather grass planks at base to be honest we could get it from that like right outside our base i don't know if it's eight pallets worth but i know we could gather it outside of our base we don't necessarily need to use this this place is more for weed stems anyway all right one more trip Whoop, 
Oh my god, I thought I dropped that like all the way down. Final trip. We got everything. Let's head on home. probably wouldn't even be able to use this zip line to get home because I there'd be so much there's gonna be so much stuff. That tastes really good. Oh, let's see how bad it is. Luck grass. Counting on you to not crash my game here. Right, I think I have my FPS up, and like when you can see it, like way up in the upper corner. Holding steady at 60. I usually set all my games. Like, it doesn't even matter. I just usually set everything to 60 FPS. I never play it. I never try to play on anything higher than that. Because it doesn't really matter when I'm streaming. Well, we only... It looks like only the grass... Those, that, those four grass planks made it. Nope, nope, there they all are. There goes our FPS. We're down to 20, 18, 16. All right, now we're back up to it took It took a while for him to, oh, no, now we're, now we're dropped down to 19 FPS right now. That definitely, this is, oh my God. <laughs> He's <laughs> definitely taking a number on our FPS. <laughs> oh my god, that is, that's too funny. Oh my god, I, I'm seeing a couple of them disappear. Oh no, they're despawning. Oh, they might be despawning. I thought I saw a couple disappear already. It looks like our FPS is stable now. Oh, 
my pallets are all full. Now, I haven't even built a repair tool yet. I feel like that's probably something I should have built. I think that might have been important. be the last that I need to send for the grass planks over because we only send four at a time. Oh my god, did I just br oh my god I brought the empty pallet. Oh my Why are you bringing the empty pallet over? We don't need that. See, do I need? I probably need to send a pallet of these over. I need to send one more full pallet of grass planks. Hope that's not full. Oh, uh, that might not be full either. I'll take this one. Rob, what do you got going on this weekend? Anything exciting, or is this a relaxation weekend? Tears. Tears and laundry. Pizza? Oh, nice. I'm getting some uh, flour tortillas because I need to... Like, I, I didn't consider this before, but I have an air fryer, so I could, like, start making some quesadillas in my air fryer and... Also, just making wraps, BLT, chicken wraps. Like, I didn't even realize that I could have actually been making those this entire time. Start making them for, like, making them for lunch almost. Instead of having my traditional, like, sandwich. anything in tears of the side of streams well i'm not going to be streaming on sunday so i guess it's not going to be not going to be me we're going to stream tomorrow though in the middle of me also doing my laundry probably Double tears on Sunday and chat Chinese food. <laughs> I mean, surprisingly, I'm having a lot of fun just playing Grounded again. Even though we've beaten it before, I, there's really... I need, uh... I just need one pallet. There's really, like, no reason... For me to play grounded outside of like the optional bosses and the flex that I can do this, I don't need to have a meat shield. Yeah, I mean this is definitely I mean this is definitely a game we're gonna be putting a hundred over a hundred hours in. I mean we're more than we gotta be more than sixty hours in at, at this point. We're gonna be putting over a hundred hours in. I mean I think once the builds are all done. Uh, then it's 
then it's really going to be just a matter of material gathering and beating every all the bosses and such. So. I want to get an S rank report card. I don't know if you need to have 100% in order to get an S rank. And right now, if that's true, I may have to actually give up on that dream. Because... From what I understand, in order to get a 100%, you need every single gold card in the game. And if you're wondering what a gold card is, it's this. These cards that are all in gold, we have one, two, three, four, five, six of them. It will not be a fun task. I mean, if any, if that becomes the case, we'll just switch, we'll switch grounded to like ongoing once we know we've beaten all the bosses and such. And what we'll do is, uh, let's grab a full pallet. What we'll end up doing is like, we'll do like one stream a weekend while we work on the gold cards and then that way I can at least move on to another game and I'm not like it, it may extend this into like the summer but like still our next game is Horizon Zero Dawn we're gonna be and, which is funny we'll be replaying that game again basically But we're going to be replaying it on the hardest difficulty, so. And we're also going to be doing all the side content, which I did not, uh, I did not get to the last time we played it. Last time we played Horizon Zero Dawn, I fell in love with the game, but I played, uh, I think I played on normal difficulty. And I quickly was like, this needs to be a game I need to beat on the hardest difficulty. This is definitely a top tier game for me. So, we, we, we kind of bum rush through the story, and then I'm like, we're coming back to this at some point. Nope, I think we sent a little too much, too many planks. You took End of the Year Rewinds too seriously. Well, the reason we're doing Horizon Zero Dawn is because Forbidden West is coming to PC early this year, so... I really want to play it, and we need to go back and beat the first game on the hardest difficulty before I play it. So that's kind of why that's happening. This was kind of an anniversary thing. We started roughly around the same time that Tenchi and I started our co-op run of this last year, so. That tastes really good. I have to eat like one thing of jerky. Next time we roll Pete, we're gonna play with the hunger a little bit. There we are. I don't wanna like wake up and die like instantly. Okay. Yeah, it's a very, very fun game. Oh, now we gotta get, now we gotta go on might runs. Oh, my lord. Oh. Yeah, it's gonna be a fun game to play. So, chant, at the rate we're going, what I'm thinking is. We're probably going to, you know, finish Grounded, Horizon Zero Dawn, and then we're probably going to go straight into Forbidden West. And in my head, I feel like providing nothing happens that prevents me from my normal stream schedule, I think that Forbidden West, if it comes out when I think, Forbidden West will 
probably finish roughly April or May. Probably, probably right in time for bowling to uh, bowling to end. I think. And as Tenchi said, well, uh, I heard the visual, I heard the audio, but I was talking, so it might not have come through as loud as it should have. I I heard the audio. The audio right now, it's confusing because the audio of her, like when I take a drink right now, is louder than the audio for the, the for the redemption. This weekend, I also want to work on getting those wolf spider uh, sounds so that you guys can use them when I start playing the game more at night now. All right, let's get over. Let's let's go use up all of our build material. We got hunt mites today as well. This is, I think, day three or four. Ooh, almost. So I think after the next uh, in-game day, we're going to start scanning, because I think we're going to get pretty close to those uh, that stuff respawning. Oh boy, this stuff did not uh, fare too well. Did not fare well on re-entry. I think I sent too many uh, weed stems over. Not that we need, like we're storing anything over here. I'm gonna use up all of this and pretty pretty quickly here. Yeah, so I sent a little too many. I sent like an extra pallet of uh, weed planks over. We might actually be going through this grass here for two pretty quick because we're gonna. I'm gonna I'm gonna use grass floors for now. Just because. Almost a full plank. One off. The one that probably didn't survive the trip. Let's work on this grass plank floor.
which that's not probably gonna. Oh no, I mean no. Te they're technically all facing the same direction, actually. Never mind. We'll just yeah, we'll just go with this. I'm not gonna overcomplicate that, especially since I'm probably not gonna stick with grass plank floors. But you know, for right now, we're gonna use them. Since we can't, we're not gonna plug the haze yet. Uh, how do I want to get into this other section here? Do we have... So we got one, two, three, four... So I should probably have like a... Like a way up... Right over here-ish. Nope, oh, nope, those aren't stairs. Uh, actually, it needs to be a full set. No! Hydration is the key to performance. So like, that's louder than the channel point redemption. Oh no, we're out of grass planks. Whatever will we do? Um, and as far as this thing goes, uh, you know, we'll just... Oh no, I can't do that. Um, I'll figure that out in a minute. We'll, f we'll deal, we deal with it later. <laughs> we'll figure it out later. And one more weed plank over and the rest of the grass. Not that I can't just like go over there and grab some grass real quick. Of course, we got plenty of grass if we uh, want to just dismantle the house really quick. But I think the the general idea is um, we're gonna dismantle the we're gonna dismantle the house when we're ready to finish the zip line place up there because we're gonna get a bunch of weed stems from doing this. We'll send the grass planks over. Or we actually might keep the grass planks. We might be use we might be using them. But. Uh, Yeah, once we're once we're ready to dismantle that house, we're gonna use the materials to hopefully finish the zip line structure. I really like how that how that all turned out. Can't wait till it's all done, because then it's gonna look really nice. Armor protection, engage.
And I'm also glad that we're actually starting to finish this up, too. I want to get that cozy level 3. Or not the co not cozy level 3. Um, uh, hauling master level 3. up the rest of that it's only 10 o'clock in the morning we gotta go down and use our milk molars we'll probably go down to get more water once we uh before we go get more logs or well planks assuming we need more I'm, I'm pretty sure we're about to blow through all the grass really quick I should have brought two acorn shells. I'll have to try to remember. That's right, I can do like that. I keep forgetting you can just like hold hold click down instead of building everything individually now. I'm just constantly forgetting that. Whoop. And then we were out of grass. We have a place to put them, I guess, in here, so that way everything is close by. See if we can get all the weed stems used.
Guess not. I mean, that's gonna. This is gonna be the as tall as this part of the structure is gonna be. This we're gonna want to be two stories tall. So, so. How many did I have left? 17? And we're going to be moving a few of these things around once I, like, figure out where I want windows and such. But for now, we're just kind of filling it in with walls. I'll decorate later. After the whole foundation kind of is laid out and done. Alright, there we go. Alright, cool. Hydration is the key to performance. Starting to take shape. So we're going to go down. We're going to get some water. I'm going to get uh, my mutations dealt with. I'll switch the scanner to the toenails. What is he doing over here? He's not supposed to walk all the way over here. And we'll go back and get some more planks. Got 7,000. Raw science. Ready. Work the core. That's my favorite one. Work the core. It's wall time. Performing diagnostic. Oh wait, we need to go get mites. Make sure we have food for the next day. We need to make sure we do that. idea if there's like a more efficient spot to go after mites. But once I know a path, I usually just stick with it. Oh, he's sleeping. Okay, we're gonna leave him alone. I thought he'd be in the way. <laughs> Double kill. I hate how I get like stuck in the grass and like just trying to strafe around it and the game is just like, we're gonna slowly do that. Ooh, I think they're back. Oh, we're gonna have to go, uh, we're gonna have to go. I thought it took, it took like seven days for them to respawn.
We'll make a small acorn staircase and see if we can get our zip line to work. Watch it! Speedy coming through! I think I have a gold card for Mike by now. I don't know where that guy is, but okay. I think we can get a few more. Oh my god. Really? Okay, come on. There we go. Ladybug. Ladybug. Ladybug lumbering down the lane. <laughs> There's the chopper mutation. Now we got it. Emergency food. All right, let's see if we can uh, get that zip line to work. have another tier 3 weapon to use. I do have some. Okay. Oh wait, we need uh, we need acorns. Oh no, we have uh, the uh, the regular mushroom steps. Not not that, but there's yeah, there's these. Whoops. gonna have to put some scaffolding down. Sacrificing our clover rope. Assuming I can't put this like on the stairs, right? Yeah, it's gotta be like on a on a floor. I'm just steel floor for right now. Darn it, it's still blocked. put it over here maybe like put the staircase right here I mean I know that armchair is not exactly blocking I, I feel like it's the table itself maybe 
Otherwise, we're going to have to run back over there and see what's possibly blocking it. One more, maybe. Rod still has a summon left? I thought everybody used all their summons up today. It's probably still not good enough. Locked. What is blocking it though? But it may maybe it's too close to the pipe. I think we're gonna have to run over there and move it to like just be a little bit more clear. Or even raise it up another another one or so. And then we can maybe see. Alright, good luck, Prod. Tastes really good. Fourteen. Beautiful. And a sixer. Oh, look at you guys go. Look at you guys go. Move along home to Shap 4. Now we're making progress. Still only one token left, though. I gotta, I gotta fix that follow one. There we go, I think I fixed it. Yeah, that's better. Still only one token left, but... Oh, wait, no, I didn't want to stop, Paula. No, go away, no, stop. What was number six? Um, hold on. I'm, I'm, hold on, I'm just gonna let her do her thing. This doesn't count. This is the only way I can see what it is by actually running through the motions. Otherwise, it'll look funky. So this doesn't count, which is good because it's an eight. Uh, six. I mean, she can be. There, you guys happy? Yeah, it's Puppers. She's, I mean, she's in... She's in the she's in the shot. Oh no, I was talking about the eight does not count. The the eight that was rolled did not count because I had to like redo the thing in order to get prod six that he got from uh from his thing there. The most prestigious bone, right? Yeah, so Oh the oh the bone, yeah. I thought you were talking about like her butt being in the picture. <laughs> Here, if I, I mean if I focus on myself, you can kinda sorta see her, it sorta counts, so yeah. Anyway. Uh it is time to sleep, so let's get some food. Oh the actual bone, yeah, yeah, I got you now. I I, I figured it out. 
All right, we need to go over and see what is the problem with this potential zip line. I mean, there I don't feel like there's anything actually physically blocking it, but maybe it's just too close to that pipe. So maybe we just need to move it. Feeling refreshed. So let's take a few minutes here to go over there. Also, just in case anyone's wondering, since it is Friday, uh, I am probably going to be streaming closer to 10 p.m. Central because it's Friday. I don't actually have to get up tomorrow. Or rather, I get to get up an hour later than usual because I still actually have things to do tomorrow, but I don't have to get up at 6 o'clock in the morning. Next time we go get our weed planks and stuff, we're gonna have to get mushrooms as well. Cause I'm, I don't have any more to make in the slurry. Suppose we should we should also check on the lint as well while we're making this trip. Armoring up. We're going to keep our aphid slippers on us just because. All right, let's go see if we can't figure this out. I mean, it very well could be, it's just too, I, mean, I do remember when we built it, the pipe was like right next to the thing. Well, I suppose it's possible that it's just the pipe that's kind of in the way. Man, I don't want to put it too close to the... Too close to the edge because then we can't uh won't be able to catch our footing to get up there there's the crap out of me i didn't even see a bug Oh my god, I'm gonna I'll have to get that sound bite too. So you guys can mess with me. There's all kinds of sound alerts I need to try to work on getting this weekend. Probably won't have them for Saturday, but since I'm not streaming on Sunday, that's kind of a perfect time for me to for me to do that. I also have to take some time to edit the YouTube videos and add chapters and stuff to the stuff that we streamed already. Whoops. That could have been bad. Please don't... Okay. I was say, please don't, like, get the grass plank to, like, whip me across the map. That was very dangerous, what I just did. My mom used to say that our Ow. house was built on top of a giant anthill, and I'm beginning to believe her. Yeah, but you don't live here. And the house is over there.
I, uh, I will, I should be free tomorrow night. Just gotta give me some time to eat dinner. Tomorrow, I, I mean, I'll stream at 12.30, but I usually will end the stream somewhere around the neighborhood of 4.30. Central. But I'll be available after, uh, after dinner. Oh, until like 9, 10 anyway. Possibly might be pushing it for me. Not that I'm streaming or anything on Sunday, but... Now I'm thinking maybe it's just too close to that pipe. Because, I mean, we're clearly not being blocked by anything. But it might be too close to this stuff, so why don't we try moving this? Oh, can I get it over here without being by the ashtray? Can I put it on top of the ashtray? Or can I get it up here? Let's, um... Well, the pillar here real quick. Unsupported. Well, yeah, I mean... I mean, it could be this invalid surface in front of it. Like, all of a sudden, now it's invalid surface. Even though I clearly built on top of it. <laughs> Or maybe what we just need to do is just build a giant mushroom pillar all the way up here from the <laughs> from down there. Now maybe maybe it was a mistake that we were even able to build there. Now this is all saying invalid surface. I mean, it's letting me build it near the pipe. It's letting me put near, put it near the pipe. I mean, like, maybe we need to just have it abnormally high. I mean, this is the only spots we can really, really build this. And I could, I could go, like, here. Like, invalid surface hits here. And that's probably what's causing the connection block. I mean, while we could put it like do this maybe because then we could be a little bit dangerous but we could try to I mean we since we have this we actually could put when once we get a uh, the burrs flooring and whatnot, we could probably put a uh, burr floor right here. Cause I mean, I'm pretty sure we could put. Yeah, I mean, we could fit a grass floor there, so we should be able to put a burr floor there. But right now, we could probably get away with it by doing. That. that way we can jump up and grab it assuming this is even high enough I feel like we have to get high enough that it's no longer like interfering with this invalid surface nonsense
Even if we have to just keep building up. Well, let's try this. Let's see if going higher will help. Otherwise, maybe I'll have to go on like a creative game mode and see if I can make it work. I mean, the problem is you need you we need it to work without having a zipline anchor because we can't get weed stems up here. Or at least we can't get them up here easily. Uh. I'm just trying to get this as high of, high as I can. It's a shame I can't like test it but i mean this is pretty high above this hopefully that's good let's move this and put this kind of over here for right now so i guess we'll see when we get back home hydration is the key to performance otherwise what we may have to do just for now if this doesn't work what we'll probably have to do is see if we can get a zip line over like on the rock over there just to kind of shorten this trip a little bit until we get this straightened out. mark this guy oh that's not Please be down there. Um. So. We have made a huge mistake. <gasps> oh, thank God. All right, anyway. While I recover from my mini heart attack. Who makes the placed waypoint button be R? The same button used to huck items. Maybe nobody saw that. I just won't mention it again. Beetle. Oh, ladybug. 
How sad would that have been? If I would have lost, oh boy. If I would have lost my hammer. How many With one toenail to go in order to make the item I wanna make. That would have been devastating. We would have had to go kill another black ox beetle. We'd have to like devote more time to doing that. Not that we don't need its gold card or anything. First thought that went through my mind was like, should I save Scummit? <laughs> Alright, let's see if our zip line works now. I don't know how else to make that work. Ooh, it works now. Okay, hold on. Let's bring this down here. See if the original spot works. All right, cool. So yeah, we just need... I guess we just needed to be... Um, Slightly higher. Evidently. We're going to have to repair that. Let's just get this thing out here. We'll kind of make this a little bit safer once we get our next uh, batch of weed planks. We'll put some uh, uh, curved things around this, basically. Need to have 33, though. All right, cool. All right, it is about 1 o'clock. Do I have some food on me in case? Well, we have food because of the mushrooms. We have to actually collect mushrooms, too. Rusty Spear. Tier 3 Spear, too. Oh, we need to get some, uh, Papua. Oh, and rust. Okay. Gotta get some rust next. I mean, we don't necessarily need this now because we're not gonna... Yeah, we don't, we don't, we don't technically need it right this second. Might not even need it next stream either.
Oh, we didn't pick up lint. Oh, that's because, yeah, because uh, I was having a heart attack from throwing my hammer down the, down the, uh, down the way there. Safety first. Like I said, me at 30, 30 string to do that. Uh, B, you can't get in there. Don't be snippy with me, that's just how it works. Let's test the zip line, make sure it works. Make sure we don't fall at the end. Although I probably shouldn't be doing using my red ant armor to do this test and my aphid slippers. Ladybug armor, I could just jump down there really quick and so I mean technically the next thing we should try to do see if we can repeat this process somehow to get me like oh, I don't even know where we could put it because this is the only spot you can build on it's right by this pipe oh speaking of which Bonk. Got some rust. I mean, outside of like building out from here. I guess what I guess what we'll have to have is we're gonna have to put a zip line. Try to build a zip line somewhere else on here. Because I don't think there's anywhere else that could link up right here. As like going from down there to up here. Think about it later. Anyway. Black Ant Soldier on the march. That's cool. If we need to get toenails, at least we have a way to get up there. And we technically have a way to get up there. It's just once we jump down, we commit. And that's where I need... That's where I'm saying, like, we need to have enough... We still need to have a zip line, maybe, like, right here. Just, like, a shortcut to get back. Otherwise, we're running all the way over there. I remember Tenchi and I had a zip line from the, the castle over here. All the way over to our base. I mean, it took us a little bit, but it was definitely faster than running. That tastes really good. And we did prove that through science. All right. I know it's going to get uh, late in the day here, but... Maybe we'll go back to just sending four, four pallets at a time of each one. May require more back and forth trips here, but otherwise this, this right, we timed it. It takes about 20 minutes for me to gather up all of this. And I forgot to grab a uh, workman's comp to test.
This time we'll start with the grass planks. So we'll just send four over, four full pallets, which is what we can handle at our construction site. Be a little bit better. Two trips per, and then we'll, we'll already be heading back. I think four is just a little bit much. I know we also don't need, uh, well, we might for the second floor, possibly. I might actually make the second floor out of weed stem planks instead of grass. make a little bit more sense. Here, let's do this. Let's... One, two... Oh, I thought I had four. Do I have another one down there? Oh, I guess not. Never mind. I'll just gather all four of them and then just send them all at the same time. Just ping, uh, ping me when you're ready, Prod, tomorrow. And if I'm if I'm available, then we can. I'll I'll, I'll play a couple rounds. Or I don't. How long? Ten, this is, would be a question for Tenchi. How long do the rounds take? Like if we start at ten, like I don't want to be like up till midnight. I suppose I should be phrasing my question as, how long do the rounds take if you're successful? <laughs> and not if you, uh, fail. Though, I mean, you guys can continue playing after I leave. I suppose it would be cool if we got, like, a couple of rounds in. Yeah. Like how long? How long does it take before we? How long does it take before we reach a stopping point, Tenchi? That's not an answer, Tenchi. As long as the company needs. Each quota is three days. Are we talking... I hope we're talking in-game days and not real-life days. <laughs> or are you trying to say that once we start, we have three real-life days in order to meet whatever quota? It's like 20 to 30 days? No. <laughs> Depending on what you find, but uh, what you need, it can be fast. Company buys at 1% on the third. 100% on 
the third day. Okay. Prod is saying about... I mean, I haven't watched anybody stream it either, so, like, I actually don't know, like, what you do outside of apparently meeting a quota. But, yeah, I'll be definitely be down tomorrow. I think I might have four, or at least three pallets up here. That poor bee. Oh, he did, he, okay, he changed directions now. I guess our adventure for tomorrow is going to be trying to get more Papapua leather. Papua leather. Papua leather. Ha! Apparently I need that to make the sword. going with construction, I mean, it'd be really nice if on, uh, if on Monday we can start doing a little bit of exploration. I mean, now that we have our tier three equipment, I mean, we can break nearly anything in the game, except for like stuff that requires a tier three dagger, which we're not going to get for a while. Once we get the foundation and stuff laid, then we won't have to. We'll still we'll still try to gather enough so we have full pallets so we can actually like just build the house up and out, you know. But we also have to try to go get pine cones too. Although I'm thinking I'm gonna try to make the my roof out of feathers, so we're gonna have to go hunting some feathers too. Oh, it's his birthday tomorrow? It's Dame's birthday tomorrow? Well, that's cool. Yeah, I mean, if not, then... Technically, I'm available most of the day Sunday outside of watching football, but I mean, I can watch football on another monitor and play with you guys. I'm making some uh, sauce for like spaghetti and stuff tomorrow, so I just need some time to do that near the, near the late afternoon. Otherwise, then I'm free for whatever. Oops. Chair is starting to give up. Chair is giving up on me. Enter the crawl space beneath the shed. No. Make me.
That's gonna be horrible. Tenchi and I, I don't think, I don't think we thoroughly explored the undershed. I don't think we ever got to that point. We never really spent time doing it, I mean. I think by the time we got to the, like, through the undershed, we were just, like, wanting to beat the game. We were just, like, focused on that. Armoring up. This looks so nice at night, too. Hydration is the key to performance. I want to try to get all the planks onto something before we sleep. I'm afraid they're all going to despawn if we do. Could actually just make make food and just work through the night. Honestly, I wish I had a firefly hat though. Maybe we should hunt a couple really quick. Sent two two weed stems. We'll go start some food. Oh. We hear or see fireflies. We'll go after them. Probably at some point come over here. We'll have an organized storage at the new house. Should spend some time to design it, make it look nice. That tastes really good.
Dude, you can't get through there. Not how it works. Oh, but you can get out there, apparently. Oh, he's stuck. Poor wolf spider. Should actually see what, what does it take to crop craft that uh that thing oh green green bug parts yeah we haven't i actually don't even know where one is actually i think i remember one spot where one is like isn't there one behind the uh bag of fertilizer or whatever it is that's up by the shed I feel like there's one there. Uh, let's see, we need to send... These two. Then we gotta send two more of the, uh... Weed stem planks, and that should be everything. Really wish there was a grab all function because this giving my uh, index finger a workout tonight. At some point, I do feel like we're gonna all of a sudden just see a wolf spider chilling up here, walking around the uh, the zip line structure. I feel like that's inevitable. Armor protection engage. So depending on how long this torch lasts, I mean that might that'll help too. Firefly hat would might help a little bit better, although I don't know how much light it gives off. Our food's probably ready. Whoops. So fast I can't even go down the stairs. my lord. I love this! I mean, we're not necessarily uh, needing game days to pass at this point, so probably can start staying up now after 90 some odd in game days. <laughs> Yeah, maybe. Possibly. Like how every trip this seems like we're just we got so much materials to work with.
And then just give me like one minute after we're done and then just be all gone. I think we'll be done gathering uh, grass planks pretty soon. Because again, I think the second floor I'm going to use uh, weed stem floors instead. I still forgot to bring acorns with me. Too far away. I mean, it'll be a little bit quicker when we don't have to be bringing so much grass plank as well. Should be it for the grass plank. So we just need to do this. Okay, cool. So that's the, f the floor for the first level there. And then this this second level will use uh, weed stem floors, so we probably don't need these anymore. We're going to need more crude rope, I'm sure. I think we're done with the... I mean, we're still going to grab get, uh, grass planks the next time we go, but we're just going to fill this up and then leave it. As far as getting up to the second floor goes, uh, I think we'll actually have that up through here. We'll maybe go... Maybe put it like right here or so. We're gonna need, I think, two staircases. To get up to where that's gonna be. One, two. Oh no, I'm sorry. Just need one. One, two, and then the floor. grab them acorn shells. I want, I want to use acorn staircases just because they look nicer. The 
feeling refreshed. Can I jump up here? Can I jump up without the acorn? Darn it. Yeah, let's put the let's put the regular the uh, grass or not grass the mushroom the mushroom beast stair here for now temporarily we'll 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 change it once we bring acorns No, we ran out. Gotta grab, get acorns anyway. Oh, and it's almost ten. I suppose that's I. You know, that's probably a good spot to call it for the night. Let's grab acorns though, and I want to build. I want to build that staircase really quick before I end up forgetting. I mean, I'll remember tomorrow, but still. Yeah, so while I do that really quick, um, tomorrow plan is to stream. Uh oh. I thought I missed that. Plan is to stream in our afternoon time. So 1230 central, give or take a half an hour, depending on what's going on in real life. And, uh, you know, all that jazz. Should have enough. And then, uh... Probably go until around 4.30-ish. We're gonna keep working on building. Most likely. And then Sunday there will not be a stream because I have football to watch, so... Not gonna happen. But then next week, it looks like next week we'll have a full stream week. I don't, I don't think there's anything going on. If something changes, obviously I'll make note of it in the Discord. But there we go. Although, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I think in order to make this work... No, no, this will, no, this will be fine. Never mind. I'm just, I'm just not thinking. All right. Should be good. And then I think we need to have... A corner thing there? Stem, stem curved walls. Because why not? Or we might, we might put that up one for the, uh, second floor area. Anyway. Let's get back over here so we can sign out over by where we're going to get water. In fact, it looks like the sun is starting to come up. Yeah, the moon, moon's going down.
And yeah, so that should be, uh, that should be all good. That's all coming together nicely. Hopefully tomorrow we'll be working on the roof and if any luck we'll get done with the roof. We're going to have to spend some time going after crow feathers though. That tastes so really that's going to be kind of a, that's be kind of a drag. But that is a great place for us to go ahead and save it there.